Hi everyone, welcome to Penacool Math Mania. Today, we'll be using math as our superpower to learn about the properties of regular and irregular solids. Tom is in school and his teacher shows him a solid. He calls it a square, but the teacher explains to him that a square only has two dimensions and therefore cannot be a solid. Solids are three-dimensional, but what does this mean? Two-dimensional shapes are flat. They only have length and width. Three-dimensional shapes, however, have length, width, as well as height. Regular solids are made up of definite shapes. Shapes such as squares, rectangles, and triangles can be identified within its structure. Irregular solids, however, have inconsistent structures. Regular solids have something called nets. Net is the folded structure of a solid. It shows us the plain shape that makes up the surfaces of the solid. If we take a cube and unfold it, it would look like this. Do you think we can draw the net of this pyramid? Well, of course we can. We just need to start with the square base, then place each triangular face on each side of the square like this. We can describe solids based on the number of faces, edges, and vertices. A face is a flat surface on the solid. Edges are where two faces meet, while vertices are where two edges meet. Look at this cuboid. How many faces, edges, and vertices can you identify? So, a cuboid has 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Can you think of a regular solid with no edges, faces, vertices, or even a net? If you guessed a sphere, you'd be absolutely correct. A sphere is curved all the way around. I hope you had fun learning with me today. Try the Pentacle exercises below to earn points and win great prizes.